So Mark, I'm super excited about this next section because this is one of the things that I'm most excited about. The company, uh, Robert Palmer is going to be introducing a new model, another extra layer of how do we help agents. And this is something that there is no other brokerage actually doing. It's called the Nexus. And we're going to go ahead and let Mr. Palmer talk all about what the Nexus is, why it's important, and what kind of the vision is for it. All right, welcome guys. So we're going to kick around this new concept of what we're calling a Nexus here at LPT Realty, and then we're going to have a discussion about it. It's a new format we're trying here where we're going to share the information using the, the presentation and then go right into discussion with our panelists. So as we looked at building this brokerage, and we looked at the history of kind of where, where the broker's model had come from, where the broker's model was going. If we look back into the time of dinosaurs, uh, it was pretty much just the franchisor. We got, you know, Mr. Money Bad Guy up there at the top. You had your brick and mortar brokerages, and then you had agents. And that was how real estate was done for a very long time. And then we had an evolution where teams started to form. You know, there were needs where certain brokerages were not giving agents enough support, not able to generate enough leads for those agents, maybe not able to do the right kind of training. And so teams formed. Team leaders realized that they could fulfill some of these gaps of what the brokerage was offering, and they could form real estate teams and help the agents on their team be more successful. And then we had another big evolution, which was the move to the cloud brokerage. And so now the franchisor goes away, the cloud brokerage kind of moves up into that role, and then we still have our agents and team leaders, but it creates this hole. And that hole is what we've been very focused on filling. Because the further away the brokerage is from the agents and the team leaders, the less cohesive the culture can be, the less we can support our agents. And we want to work really hard and do as much as we can as a brokerage, but we also realize that there is a hole formed when you move into the cloud brokerage model. And so over time, you know, people have tried to fill this gap with different things. Expansion teams, I believe, were an attempt to fill this gap. Expansion hubs. Uh, some companies, the downline becomes what tries to fill this gap. But none of those really work that well. They all show weaknesses as they grew and evolved. The downline has problems because once you're in one, you're stuck. And if that's the only place you can get culture and support and have connected fabric, it doesn't work out very well, and we recognize that early on. Two interesting companies have really appeared in the last couple of years. Uh, both came from mega teams. Both came out of Keller Williams, and that's Libyan and Place. All right, so Place is owned by Ben Kinney, and Goldman Sachs invested $100 million to help him take that to the next level. And then uh, Libyan is, is owned by Gary Keller, a large chunk of it, we don't know exactly how much, in order to help Adam Hergenrother turn his big mega team into Libyan. But the idea is they're trying to help fill this gap. They want to provide services to teams, they want to provide services to agents, they want to take some of that layer that's being created as brokerages do less and move further away from the agents. They want to be that fabric to try to connect. And, and, and we like that model. I think that really is the future. I think this is something that does become necessary because we understand the limitations that we do have as a cloud brokerage. We want to be the best at what we can be, but we have to recognize what our limitations are. All right? And so this is where the LPT Nexus comes into play. And that's what we're going to talk about this morning. And so as we think about the LPT Nexus, I think about three kind of general ways that an organization can fill that hole. And that's what we call a team services nexus. This is like your place in your Libyan where a group of teams come together under a nexus, and maybe that nexus provides centralized ISA services. Maybe it provides centralized lead generation. Maybe it provides centralized P&L and accountability. Maybe it helps with operations management. But again, how do you take a real estate team who's maybe struggling to get that next level of success and give them the support they need to grow and double or triple their business. And once upon a time, that was the role of the brokerage. And while there are things we can do to help as a cloud brokerage, we can't be nearly as hands-on as the role that one of these nexus can play. There's a coaching nexus, uh, which is more of a relationship between individual agents and a coach. And the idea is instead of paying for coaching fees monthly or up front, you pay per transaction. It's a way to move coaching to success-based pricing. A coach forms a nexus, agents can join that nexus, and as they close transactions, the coach has a split. He doesn't have to charge, or she doesn't have to charge up front, or charge monthly. And then finally, the brick and mortar nexus. All right, this is the big one. We as a cloud brokerage don't have locations. We've got some hubs here and there, but we see an opportunity for entrepreneurs within our ecosystem, agents like yourselves, to create office space opportunities for agents, 
and then charge them something. Maybe it's a monthly fee. Maybe it's a piece of every transaction. And this is less organized than a real estate team, right? These people are not taking on your branding. You're not providing all their leads. This is a looser type of organization meant to put that fabric back in place that was lost as the cloud brokerage moved further away from its agents. Uh, so as we think about this, there are people doing this right now. You know, you can go it alone. You can promote using your own resources. You can use referral fee agreements to have teams pay you money and try to track all that, create and manage registration. Difficult to scale. And you can do that right now under our current compensation model as a rep share partner. However, with the new LPT Nexus, we will help promote the Nexus. We're going to have a marketplace where people looking for these services can find you. Where an agent out there says, you know, I want helping you take my team to the next level. Where do I find someone to help me do that? Or an agent says, I need coaching, I need help, but I need it to be on success-based pricing, I can't afford to pay up front. Where do I find that in the Nexus? So we'll help promote these Nexuses. We'll handle the payment collection. This is a big one. If the, if the Nexus is gonna charge a monthly fee or charge a split at closing, LPT will take the burden on of doing all of that payment collection and getting the money put back out to the Nexus owners. We provide the membership and transaction tracking inside of Connect. Uh, we provide the tools to help you scale. And then there will be an additional fee for an LPT Nexus beyond the standard cap. And so this is how we think about this model. And this is how we at LPT are trying to move things forward to create more opportunities for our agents who are looking for another layer to connect with. They're looking for the types of support that a Nexus can provide. And then we're also looking to provide opportunity for our agents who want to create their own Nexus. You know, they want to build their own version of Place, their own version of Libyan, and they're going to be able to do it right here inside of the LPT framework through our Nexus model. So this is exciting. To me, this is a big step forward for us in continuing to move the model forward. And I'm also proud to announce uh, that we're welcoming, uh, I'm proud to announce this first, I messed up my slides. Uh, we're actually going to have a Shark Tank style competition. Uh, where just like uh, Goldman Sachs invested $100 million in place, uh, I don't think I'll quite invest $100 million, but I am willing to make uh, a sizable investment in the right nexus inside of LPT that I believe has potential to grow. And so if you're looking to build a nexus, and you'd like to have me be an investor in that nexus, you can participate in our Shark Tank style competition where we're going to help you refine and improve that nexus and get it ready to help other agents. And then for the winner of that, I will make an investment to help them grow their nexus and go to the next level. Again, I'm very committed to this model. I think this is important to move the brokerage forward. I think it's important to move the entrepreneurs within our brokerage forward and a way to create tighter relationships to create more success for our agents inside of LPT Real Estate. Dude, the Nexus is so cool. I'm so excited. This is probably the one thing I'm the most excited about, about LPT Realty. I remember sitting down at that dinner um, with Robert Palmer and, you know, we were fortunate enough to stay late and have a, a, a dessert drink or beverage. And, you know, he, we were sharing these ideas months and months ago about the concept of this. It wasn't called the Nexus then. It was the very beginning stage. And I just think it's absolutely incredible because this has to do with the brokerage for life aspect, the culture, the the ability for agents to build a business that they want. Like that's one thing I learned early on in, in real estate was that we are all entrepreneurs and there are so many opportunities to build businesses. My passion, if you don't know, is coaching and training. And so I look at, I look at the Nexus as a place, as a marketplace, an opportunity for people to go above and beyond their real estate sales and to really help other agents and help other people. And you're not tied to one company. You're not tied to one downline. You're not tied to one team. This is an open format that will be open to anybody at any company to participate and to be able to go and say, okay, here's all the options. So, you know, there's a lot of options out there for coaching as an example, and you all know the names, but the thing is, is that that's one option. You know, people outgrow that one option. People will sign up for something and they didn't get what they actually liked. Here, you can actually walk around as a consumer and decide, hey, I really want to work with AJ. Hey, I really want to work with Mark. Hey, I really want to work with so-and-so. And then when that relationship is over, if you outgrow it, you have these other options. But it's such, I'm so excited to see where this goes that it, I just can barely even contain myself. Yeah. One of the things that really excites me is people who get into real estate and want to become real estate agents have that entrepreneurial mindset. You know, you are an entrepreneur. If you are a real estate agent, you own your own business. 
And I know that if you're like me and you're like AJ, your interests likely go beyond just real estate. You know, AJ and I each have other business ventures that we're into and that we're excited about. And so we know that that's a common trend with agents where selling real estate is a part of what you enjoy doing, but you probably have a bigger entrepreneurial spirit that you want to spread. And unfortunately, at most real estate brokerages, the only way that they can really support you is through that real estate channel without the ability to support some of the other entrepreneurial aspirations that you may have. And what I like about what Robert has done here is again, creating that brokerage for life where we've talked in the past about what do you want to do uh, or what are you going to do when you decide you want to start selling less real estate in the future as well. And this is that another path for you entrepreneurial minded individuals out there who want to partner with a brokerage that's going to give you additional ways to earn income that is not only going to support you, but support the agents around you, support the, the agents in your brokerage that can help them grow, make the uh, real estate brokerage more valuable. So I love it. I just really think it's another way of supporting agents um, in their lifestyle and everything that they want to do even outside of real estate. So it's very, very exciting for me. Yeah. You know, one, one other thing that's cool. So as we grow um, internationally, as we grow internationally over the years, you know, I, I don't necessarily prefer to work with brand new agents, but if I know there's a nexus, if I know there's a group that really knows how to help a new agent succeed quickly, I can just refer them to there, right? It doesn't hurt me by referring them somewhere else. It helps everybody. It helps the valuation of the company. It helps everybody do more real estate. And that's the whole point is how do we help people sell more real estate and give more people options to put them in a partnership, put them in a place that they can succeed at the highest level that's based for them.